Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Shoggoths. We are here in the California Sandbox Park um, that is set at Yosemite National Park here in the U.S. And we are on episode 2 of our Yosemite National Dinosaur Park uh, speed build, or uh, sandbox build actually. Uh, right here we are working on a enclosure for um, a pair of Acrocanthosaurus, plus like a <laughs> flock <laughs> or pack however which way you'd like to put it, of like 20 compies because compies are cute and they're awesome and the acros like them. Like it's actively on their likes and I just think that's adorable. It's the only thing on their likes actually. <laughs> I imagine other herbivores would be fine because they'd like to eat them but it's like the only thing on there so I thought I'd put them on there. The acro was requested by uh, YouTube user Fat Jackson who responded to one of my community posts. And they also requested a few others, but I didn't put them in this episode. I might have them in future episodes. Uh, might be able to throw them into some other enclosures as well. Um, if you're interested in contributing to my parks, I'm always open to suggestions for dinosaurs in future episodes for anything that's not like a one shot. Um, you know, I, I post some polls and things like that, or I've started to post polls and such um, on our community posts uh, to see, you know, what dinosaurs you want to see next. And in the future, I'm also going to do stuff for like, which park do you want me to build on next and all that kind of stuff. So definitely, um, you know, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and to that way you're, uh, you know, kept up to date with those community posts a little bit easier and uh, you might be able to help influence uh, my parks in the future. Uh, almost all the dinosaurs actually were requested by uh, watchers today, uh, and uh, you know, most of the, them in this park probably will as well. Uh, if you want to add con uh, contribute for this park, you can just leave a message right here on this uh, video and let me know what dinosaurs you'd like to see in future episodes. So right now we're kind of building like an, a, just a walking area in between um, the two enclosures that I'm going to build. Most of these enclosures are more free ranging and they're going to have like jeep rides to them. But this kind of area is sort of like a filler area. And I just wanted to put a couple enclosures in it, like more traditional enclosures with, um, with viewing galleries or viewing towers in this case. Um, we're, we're in the gratuitous rocks phase right here as I... Uh, that's a staple of my videos. <laughs> and just getting some lights and other decorations in. And, well, you know, once there's dinosaurs, the, the guests will, you know, kind of mingle. And I like... I, when, when the game is working with me and allowing me to do so, I like to kind of make the paths like when you make these big blocks of pathing like that. I kind of like to make them sporadic sometimes because then it, you know, the... Uh... The guests will follow those, you know, and so it kind of looks like they're meandering around instead of just walking in straight lines, like up and down. I just think it looks a little bit more natural because some people really do just like cut across in front of other people and things like that. And that's just normal human behavior, I guess. <laughs> All right, so here you can see like just taking out that fence, changing it up a little bit. I think it looks better this way. I mean, it's, it's a pretty huge enclosure though, so kind of goes into the back and gives them privacy. Well, you know, where they can get away from all the screaming children. <laughs> Just tweaking with it a little bit more before I drop the dinosaurs in. Although you won't see that part. But you will see them later. More gratuitous rocks. As always. <laughs> oh, hey, there's an acro. Alright. And then over here. Uh, well... Okay, over here we're apparently going to just put more rocks down because why not, right? Over in this other enclosure area we are going to have um, the Taurosaur, a herd of Taurosaur, and a few uh, Polcanthus. Uh, the Taurosaur was requested by Billy Bob and um, Alex B requested the Polcanthus. Um, I've actually got a long list of dinosaurs that Alex has suggested for future videos. Um, so we're going to get a, a group of those in here in the next enclosure. I think we'll do... Um, a few of those. Alex has always given me great suggestions for dinosaurs and stuff and I appreciate it. He's been around for a while. So, you know, shout out to Alex. <laughs> We're getting the Taurosaurus enclosure figured out here. I kind of want to just have it, you know, I kind of like, I, I, well not, I shouldn't say kinda. I definitely like it when like the water sources can flow from like one area to another 
So it's, I, you know, I mentioned this in the last episode. It's a real shame that we don't have either bridges that people can walk over or the ability to like dig underground, dig under a path or something like that. Because I'd really love for like all the water to flow like it would normally, you know, you would have, you would have rivers and stuff like going through the area and you would just, uh, you know, have your, a bridge over it for the people instead of cutting the river in half because then that ruins the flow. So that sort of realize, re realism would be really cool. <laughs> I just wish we had a you know, even just a land bridge option you know you pick land bridge and it would uh you know kind of like carve under it or something I don't know like I'm, I'm sure it could be done I mean I don't I'm not a programmer <laughs> of any type but I feel like it's something that would be doable like just judging from other games so I don't know So for the last part of this uh, episode, it's basically just uh, building another, you know, uh, guest area, some concessions and stuff like that. I've got a few. It's going to be <laughs> this week with the water because I wanted a big restaurant there since this is kind of like the main um, area. The other area that we did last episode is kind of a smaller area, so... This one's sort of the main area. It's right near the entrance. And I wanted to have like big restaurants and everything. Plus there's also going to be multiple attractions. Because the game kept letting me know that my... Um, that my guests d didn't have enough other things to do. Because apparently they need gyms and aquariums. I kind of get the aquarium. Like I can accept aquariums because... Uh, you know, we're talking about like a zoo, basically. So you know, the normal your normal zoo has some aquatic animals and things like that. Like we would have aquatic dinosaurs and stuff. That's fine. But like, really, you'd rather go to the gym than go see dinosaurs. <laughs> Is that really just ruining your experience at Jurassic Park? Look, like, really, really. That so that that that's one of those things that has always bothered me. Like, really, you'd like to go bowling, and not to mention. I've been to resorts before. I mean, obviously there's nothing quite like Jurassic Park that exists in the world, but I've been to resorts and like stuff like that is usually at the hotel. Like they have gyms at the hotel, pools at the hotel, you know, things like that. So I don't know why I need a gym in the park. <laughs> it's got, you know, if we've got a pool or not a pool, but like a gym at the hotel, restaurants at the hotels, bathrooms, at the hotels. Like, I understand having concessions and, and gift shops and stuff like that. Like, around the park. But, yeah. Gyms. Climbing walls. Bowling alleys. I don't get it. <laughs> I can't... I wouldn't want to do any of that if there were dinosaurs around. But that's, you know... That's me, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but the, my my guests were having some serious meltdowns. They like they like to just come in at an intersection and walk in circles, and then like it's like a half spiral, and then they walk out, and they, it'll be like that for like twenty or thirty minutes while I'm building, and then eventually it just works itself out. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> what what unnecessary buildings? I don't even remember what I put up. There's a golf course. I can only assume that's like miniature golf. Once again, I would much... I mean, I, I, I like miniature golf, but I would not want to do that instead of looking at dinosaurs. And I get it. These people are probably staying here for a while. You know, they got hotels and stuff. But still, I just... Uh, gym at the hotel. Huh, a bowling alley could be at the hotel. <laughs> so I'm going off at a tangent, but this is one of those things that just kind of weirds me out. Like why people would choose to do that over, you know, dinosaurs and such. I will say I do like the fact that we now have, like, such a wide variety of, um, shops and everything. Like, that's nice, like, being able to pick everything. Uh, the area that I just filled in with trees, I kind of just did that, um, for giggles. Uh, just because I wasn't going to build any yet, and I just wanted it to look filled in while I was looking at everything. Um... <laughs> wanted to do all those flags and I was like oh it just looks crowded and terrible so changed it up but uh yeah that that area right it's kind of like to the left of the entrance I think that's where I'm going to put start the Jurassic the classic Jurassic Jeep tour it's probably going to start there 
um, and it's going to go basically behind the mountain that, that this area is in front of. And it's going to go behind the mountain. And then there's like an, there's two areas up there that I have. And so I'm thinking about doing it like a, um, a two stop kind of a thing. But uh, that'll probably be the next episode. <laughs> I was having real trouble with like aligning all these planters. It's like you can tell that I know what I'm trying to do and then I just keep messing it up. Just like the spacing. Like that. I like the fact that we have like these move functions, but honestly, sometimes it's easier to just delete everything. It's the same amount of clicks, really. <laughs> uh, just trying to, you know, break things up in here, add some... Uh, tables and everything or I think we're almost at the end here there's people coming in and out of those restaurants and shops they really I I'm telling you it's those bright colors <laughs> sometimes I have a little bit too much fun with the color randomization I just see something that looks so tacky and so like insane and I'm like yes I absolutely have to have that color in my park so I'll probably add a little bit more decoration um, in the future to this area, but I kind of, you know, the the the, build, the speed build itself was getting a little long. So, so we'll just go and take a look at some of the places. Got the acro enclosure. <laughs> I love. The compies bouncing around. That's gotta be tiring though. That's really gotta be tiring. Just bouncing like that all the time. I mean, that's very bird behavior, but still. It's bouncing everywhere. I love watching the big dinosaurs rub their faces in the dirt. It's just, <laughs> it's so cute. Like they're on a whole different level than like big predators that we have now. Like, you know, like lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. And, uh, so I don't know. It just it's it's great to see them engage in that kind of behavior. We've got our torsors. One of them decided to walk in front of me in a really you know cinematic way. So Polcanthus, one taking a nap. I promise it's taking a nap. It's not dead or anything. <laughs> Aww, screech! I love the juxtaposition between the giant dinosaurs and the little little compies got our guest areas and this is uh this is pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode as always i appreciate you checking out my video if you're new around here hit that subscribe button or like the video and leave a comment i always love to hear from you guys and like i said if you want to suggest some dinosaurs for future episodes feel free to do so in the comments below and uh, I'll be back with more Yosemite National Dinosaur Park real soon.